Hello everyone, thanks for joining me in this next video and we're going to talk about Trump's new social media called Truth. So I was reading this article about this. Um, Truth Social is what Trump's social media app is called. So we're getting a whole lot of just new social media apps, new social media opportunities, and I'm finding it hard to kind of keep up. <laughs> Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube have been here for years and years and years. But as we all know, they have such they have such a problem with like just letting people say things, letting people voice their opinions that don't follow a certain line of thought, let's say. So no matter what they claim it's just it just never works out that way <clears throat> so other people like gab um oh my gosh there's so many minds um what is the other one man there's like six other ones i can't think of them all but uh, this is trump's called truth social i think this is going to end up being like facebook even though it, it says that the app wor works like twitter because I'm not seeing a whole lot of people who are younger really go on to it. I've heard of a lot of people who are older use it. Um, you know, what do you guys think about this? I love that there's more options and things like that. I, but I also love kind of the work that like Crowder and others have done to make YouTube and Twitter and Facebook more honest about what they're doing, uh, keeping them responsible to the contracts that they signed, um, and things like that. So I think maybe for me, it's kind of like the answer is twofold, where you hold these people to their contracts, hold, their, hold these people to their word, <clears throat> but then also make another one if you want to. I think ultimately being able to take them to court, like we have is going to make maybe probably the biggest um how do i say this the biggest hmm effect to what they're doing uh there is one thing that i did like whenever i read about uh let's see if i can bring this up yes okay so there's one thing i did like about this social media thing that trump is doing is right here if you access a service from the European Union, Asia, or any other region of the world with laws or other requirements governing collection and things like that, or disclosure that differ, that differ from applicable laws in the United States, even, even through your continued use of the service, you are giving them permission to transfer all of the data to the United States, basically. So it is like you basically are doing this from the United States which I like because that means then places like China, Russia, etc. cannot then limit these people and we don't have to follow the laws there. Which, you know, I don't think we should. We're an American company, we follow American law. <clears throat> of course I have other, you know, that's a whole other rant for a whole other day. But anyway, uh, I mean, are you going to join this service? Did you even know it dropped? Um, apparently it's only available for Apple users. So that's a drawback. Where did I see that at? Of course, this person, the person who wrote this does not like that. Oh, here it is. It's only available for US Apple users for now. So this came out. When did this come out? Where is the, okay, anyways, MSN article, I do not see the date of its publication. So anyway, it's out now. If you have an Apple iPhone or something and you get it, let us know what it looks like, how it goes. All right. That's it for today, guys. I'm, I hope it does well because we do need alternatives. So I think that's essentially where I land on all this stuff. So uh, I'll see you in the next one. Remember to pray and read your Bible and have a great day, guys. Just remember to put God first in everything you do. Bye.